Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this video is all about showing you what these plants can do in actual uh, PvP. Because most of the NFTs uh, have special abilities that would only show or uh, come out once you have leveled them up to 3 or 4. So if there are plants in here that you haven't used or seen in action, then this video is for you. So let's start with this dark uh, spiky plant. On level 3, it's going to throw a field of spikes on the ground that would um, spray and damage enemies who step on it. And I believe this is only effective for those monsters on the ground because of course the flying ones won't be able to step on it. And when you get to level 4, uh, this plant, it's go um, gonna get a boost in terms of attack speed. So apart from it dealing a lot of damage, it's going to be um, shooting quicker uh, compared to when it was level 1 and 2. Now for this wind type of plant, its special ability on level 3 is um, summoning a tornado. So it damages enemies that are hit or uh, yeah by the tornado. And when you max level this plant, the additional bonus would just be um, a critical strike or the chance to crit. So let's check again how it throws a tornado. There you go. Now this water plant here, on level 3 it summons a water pond that uh, reduces uh, movement speed and magical resistance of the monsters. Um, unfortunately I didn't get to level this to max because the game ended early. Now here's a light plant that deals a lot of damage to a single target. Um, however on level 3 it just increases the charge time and the maximum damage is also increased. Um, however on level 4 it gives you explosion it means that when it kills a monster, um, it releases an explosion that damages the others um, around it. So this is actually uh, one uh, plant that you could use in early game and could help you survive uh, wave 10 easily. So before I proceed to the next plant, let me just show you how uh, this guy helped me uh, survive in the early uh, wave. So when I got this plant, I initially didn't like it because it's just a common one and it's light. Uh, however, when I started using it, I found out that it's actually uh, powerful. It can kill the first uh, boss easily. So in this game, I, f I have to level it up to max, uh, followed by the other NFTs. So the basically the game here ended with me having around 80% um, life for my mother tree. 
So next is the fire plant that deals uh, damage to at least two um, enemies. However, on level 3, it gives an explosion or a chance to explode, which means more damage to more uh, surrounding monsters. And when you hit max level, um, the, uh, it grants a critical uh, damage per hit. So um, that's a 20% chance. So if you try to take a look at this game, there's an instance that it dealt 1,500 of damage. Now here is an electro plant. So initially, it's just a single target uh, plant. However, on level 3, it could release a global strike, which means it strikes all the enemies on the battlefield at once. And if you level it up to max, it just um, it's just gonna give you a 20% chance to land a critical uh, hit. So again, the special ability for the, this Electro comes out at level 3. So here's another uh, plant of fire type. It deals uh, damage to multiple enemies, however on level 3 it gives you a multi-shot that means it grants more chance to shoot uh, two additional projectiles. Um, when leveled up to 4 or max, it's gonna give you a chance to land a critical hit or strike. So any critical damage that you see on this game is coming from that guy. And if you saw that, that's about 4,000 worth of damage. So for our last uh, plant, this one is an ice type. It's initially just a single target and it applies a frost bite. However, on level 3, it gives you a global strike every few seconds. That means um, the frost bite is applied to all um, enemies at once every cooldown. Um, on level 4 though, I think it's just going to give you um, a chance to crit like the other um, NFTs, but let's see. There you go. So a chance to land a critical strike is on level 4. So basically the special ability comes out on level 3 and on level 4 it's just gonna give you an additional chance to hit or land a critical strike. So I hope you guys find uh, this video helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you do. And to end this video, I'll be showing you one of the battles that I've had using uh, three NFTs and three uh, baby plants.
Thank you.
Thank you.
Thank you.